Hello, this is John N5ID, and this is the latest addition to my shack, a little recent RS918 made in China. Really like this radio. The receiver on sideband and CW is excellent. It has surprised me. Uh, let's listen in on a little bit of CW here and, and look at some of the CW features of this radio. It really sounds pretty good for that small backfiring speaker on this radio. I will show you one of the nice features. It does have the peak filter. That peak filter works really, really well. When you use the peak filter, you can just hear that signal pop right out of there and the noise melts away. Also, you have customizable filters on this radio. When you hit the BW button, you can go through the filters which you've customized. I'll show you in just a moment where to customize these filters. If you can see it here, it's on 500 hertz right now. I've got mine customized for 500, 1.6K, and then 300 hertz. I'm going to turn the peak filter on one more time. What a nice, nice feature that is with this radio. Now a couple of other things to note here. If you want to change the speed on your CW keyer, if you look under RIT, you can see uh, WPM words per minute. You just hit the RIT button until that's highlighted and turn the RIT knob to set your keyer speed. I'm going to go back to where RIT's highlighted. Also, this is your side tone volume right under the AF gain. You just hit the AF button and there you can adjust your side tone volume with the AF knob. I'm going to highlight AFG again. Now to show you where you can customize the options for CW in this radio, you go into the menu and to scroll through the menu you use the RF knob and once we get on the actual menu item we want to change we use the RIT knob and that opens up the menu and you can go through the menu using the RF knob and once you get to the item you want to change you use the RIT knob and turn it and see I can go to a straight key or go back to iambic B and you can go through here and look at your different options that are available. You can set your key or speed here also, but there's no use in doing that since you can use the RIT knob to do it. CW weight, here is your side tone frequency offset. Uh, I would leave that on 750 hertz. I'm not going to go through all these options. You can uh, look at them at your convenience. Now I'm going to hide that menu again by turning the RIT knob and then I'm going to go down to the filter selection and this is where you customize your filters for sideband and also for CW and there's a lot of customizable features. You turn the RIT knob to get to whatever particular um, setting that you would like on CW. I'm going to leave mine on 300 hertz and 750. Now I'm going to go back up and hide this menu again. And also to note, before you exit out, hold the exit button down and that will save the settings. You can see it says saving the settings. And now I'm going to exit out. And also I'll show you how good the internal keyer works. I'll switch over to the dummy load. Just a great, great radio on CW that I would highly recommend. And this is the little 918 
on sideband. It's a great sideband radio, great receiver. Again, I'm very surprised at how good the little speaker off the back of this sounds. Let's listen in uh, to a sideband QSO. Yeah, there is a 1301. He said he came online. And uh, no, nothing sets. Uh, Jim, are you with us this morning at break? Uh, yeah, sure am. Uh, let me, I've been busy here on the computer, so uh, let me finish up here. You can use back. the DSP button okay, well, to turn noise after, reduction uh, on. After and to change your various levels of noise reduction, you turn the RF knob. Okay, well, and I, um, uh, I have been using your uh, homebrew power supply on the Drake. And you can go through the DSP features by pressing the DSP knob and finally turn the DSP back off. I was never comfortable with it because I would turn the switches on on the power supply, the power on switch, the switch is switch. Again, the little radio sounds great on sideband. I will show you a couple of, of features that I use with this radio. By hitting the RF knob, you can actually, or RF button, you can actually get to the receive equalizer. As you see there, I have my bass set on 12 and my treble on 6, and you simply change that by turning the RF knob. I'm going to change it to 12, and then you highlight the treble and you can change the treble and then go back to the actual AGC. Uh, also, you have customizable filters. You can go through with the bandwidth button. I have mine customized to 2.5, 2.7, and 2.1. Another great feature with regards to sideband is not only does it have a receive equalizer, notice when I key the microphone, and I'm going to go to the dummy load so I don't bother anyone, notice when I key the microphone, that receive equalizer changes to a transmit equalizer. And I have mine set on minus six bass plus four on the treble. I like to take some bass out and add some treble. I think it sounds a little bit better as far as transmission goes and I have gotten excellent reports on this radio with regards to transmit audio. Again a great sideband radio uh, with great filtering and pretty decent noise reduction. It's not the best uh, but it is good for the price. I just don't think you can beat this radio. It does not have a built-in battery. It does not even have provisions on this particular model for a battery and it doesn't have a, a built-in tuner but you can pick these up in the 200 to 250 dollar range on the used market and again I would highly recommend it just for a fun radio to play with and to take portable. Thank you for watching my video and I would ask if you've enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless.